welcome to my channel. My friends call me Jelly. Totally forgot my whole entire intro speech just then because I've been doing carbs and I am completely brain fogged, y'all. Completely brain fogged. Yesterday I tried a no carb day, which didn't work out because the dinner I went to eat, if you watched the video, made me desperately ill. So the heartburn started, so crackers came into play. Um, I'm going to show you what I've had today. Also, in this video, you're going to see my cats. You get to watch my cats be silly, and you're going to see how I made my pancakes. It is in this video as well. It'll be a picture of what I had. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you, you're going to see, we went to Crack Barrel. You'll see my picture of my beautiful salad. After three, four bites, I couldn't eat it. Um, I don't... I don't think my stomach can process lettuce or something. It started to cramp up extremely bad and felt like I was about to have heartburn, like it was burning here and I was afraid it's going to get worse. So I did not eat it. I don't know what else to order there. I cannot, I can't eat their bacon. I was going to get country ham, but because I've had so many carbs, I have so much fluid and every time I eat country ham with all that sodium, I normally gain five pounds even when I'm strict keto. So that was a no go. So basically I really didn't eat. Um, I've had some coffee today. I had a collagen coffee and I had a, it's seven o'clock at night now. It's, I also had Americano, um, with sugar-free vanilla and that was it from Starbucks. And that's probably all I'm probably not eating today. My stomach is still not feeling well from yesterday. Um, I will never try organic coconut milk, any kind of coconut milk ever again, ever again, y'all. Yeah. Ever. that was so bad so tomorrow you'll see what I eat tomorrow and so <laughs> tomorrow I'm making a big giant brisket and I am going to try it but I'm kind of scared at the same time I will try small bites to see because even though I cut all the fat off the brisket like 90% because it comes with that really hard fat and that is not good to cook it with um so I, it's still a fatty meat so I could still have issues <laughs> So, this month is just about experimenting and seeing what I can do. Um, I'm, since it's so late, I don't really want to eat anything anyways. I don't want to stay up all night. Um, like, I had to sit up all night last night with heartburn and a really upset stomach from the um, coconut milk. And I woke up with the worst migraine of my life and net pain shooting. I slept until 3 because I was almost 3 o'clock because I was so sick from the migraine. But it is from sitting completely up okay there is no way when I'm sitting completely up to keep my head from falling left to right it fell left to right all night long all night long so I had a miserable night of sleep but we will figure this out we are coming up with a list of keto foods that I can eat so I don't have to turn to crackers and guess what if I'm sick tonight then I'm just throwing up because I ran out of crackers and I didn't buy any more so I can't use them as a crutch because let me tell you I probably would because they stopped the heartburn. And it's not just normal heartburn, y'all. It is not like go through a Tums and you're fine. No, it is gushing, gushing heartburn. So, yeah, like my nose is so burnt inside out from it. Like it is so raw and so hurt and my throat is. I don't know if you can tell my voice is a little funky because it's been burning my throat and vocal cords. Um, oh, Heartburn is not a thing to play around with when it's this bad. Yes, I have reflex disease, GER, whatever. Like, each daughter calls it something different, but I have all that. Also, I have IBSA, which was under control with keto. COVID really messed up my system, y'all. It really, really did. And we are just trying to get it healed again. That's why I went high fat, to heal it with ketones, but that didn't work for my stomach. And I should have had tons of ketones, y'all. I had ketones, like one amazing reading one or two amazing reading the whole entire time I was doing it with no carbs so that is telling you there's something funky going on inside my body something funky um Tuesday if all goes well I will be talking to Dr. Eric Westman and see what he can tell me to do for heartburn um I'm going to his support meeting he's usually always there he takes questions it is a support meeting it's not a very big group um I just don't like being out that late at night that far away and having to drive home because it's a ways away. Um, like an hour and 20 minutes or so. But that is my plan for Tuesday to go see him because maybe he can come up with a suggestion that does not include high fat. And yes, I know, 
why not high protein? I, I know. And that is a reasonable question. Y'all, since January, chicken tastes like roadkill. It tastes like I am sucking on a cup of pennies and a mouthful of blood at the same time. And a funky, dirty, nasty taste that I don't know how to explain other than roadkill. Um, that's why I was using tons of paprika and stuff every time you saw me eat chicken, trying to hide the taste of the chicken. And when I got it again, it came back even worse. And I can't have paprika. I know for sure now, paprika, black pepper, it is tearing my stomach apart. Those are not items I can have. Um, so... I don't know how to make it taste good. I don't want to throw tons of mayonnaise in it because that's a lot of mayonnaise. Like, I would have to put a lot of mayonnaise in there. Um, and I'm also not a big fan of the flavor of mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise mixed into something, but I'm not a big fan of the actual flavor of mayonnaise. Um, so, that's why this is very hard for me right now. I'm going to try savory chicken keto chow probably tomorrow and see how my stomach handles that and the taste of that because maybe I can hide some chicken in it, right? Make it like a soup and hide it in there. Um, but let me go ahead and show you how I made the pancakes, my adorable cats, and the picture of my beautiful salad that I was unable to eat. Okay, so some people have asked what Elder Scrolls are, the game I play. Um... I guess they didn't want to Google it, so I'm just going to show you. Um, I've been playing it all week. Um, once I got my heartburn and stomach issues to calm down, my motion sickness from at least this game has gone away. I haven't been able to play this in months because of it, but the motion sickness part is gone, and I can play it again. Right now, we're waiting for some monsters so I can kill it and get these little get basically trick-or-treat bags out of it and collect some things I need to craft stuff and this is let me see if I can turn myself around usually not hold on there we go right now this is me you get to decorate them this one's me she's my partner she just follows me around that's my cat um, you get achievements. I got an achievement that gave me my hat. I bought the little outfit with my tokens from the game. Um, it's kind of fun. If you like open world type, quest type games, um, that's a huge world. Has tons of people in it. Um, it's fun. Right now I'm playing with my bow and arrow. Usually I have my staff. But this one spreads out more. Um, but this is what I do to relax when I'm not watching TV. So when I'm having big anxiety, I just watch TV and play Candy Crush. Um, when I have no anxiety and I'm having no motion sickness, this is what I like to play. I really love GTA 5, but it gives me the worst motion sickness in the world. I used to play it and I haven't been able to play it in years. I go in every so often trying. Also Watch Dog Legions. Um, I love that one too. But I haven't been able to play that too, because of the same reason. The motion sickness is so strong. So this is what it is. I'm trying to, I can't really walk in films. I'm trying to hit them from here. Got my little partner doing her little spells. I have her on healing right now so she can heal me. some aerials but yeah so this is uh this is the game I play all right so let's try a little recipe this is some of y'all would say that carb quick is not keto um because of all the fiber and stuff but we're going to use it um anyways it's better than me eating like crackers and bread right so um one third cup is 16 total carbs, 14 fibers. We're not using that much anyways. Uh, six fats, 90 calories. So we are going to start though with my salted caramel because I have a lot of it and I never know what to do with the salted caramel keto gel. Um, we are going to use one scoop of it. And our little recipe. And I don't know how much wet stuff I want so that's why I'm doing the powder stuff first. What, honey? Oh. Okay. 
There's a one scoop of salted caramel Peter chow. You can do whatever flavors you want. I'm winging this. I have my powder butter. I have no issues with powder butter, so we are going to use two tablespoons of it. Actually, let's do one. Let me get a smaller one. Because, actually, wait a minute, I need 10. Okay, I need 10 fats. And this has zero fat, so we're going with two. So, Keto Child needs at least 10 fats to make it work right. So we're going with two tablespoons of the powder butter. Anthony, zero carbs. So don't come at me because I've had people say, well, the powder butter has carbs. Actually, it does not. Not the one I buy. Um, now, let me just mix this all in here. Then I have a quarter cup that we're going to use, I think, of carb quick. Just to give it a little different texture. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm gonna do that. Gotta get a container to put it into. All right, one quarter cup. Carb quick. I was gonna do pumpkin. I had a whole pumpkin recipe in my head and changed my mind. Might do that later. Sealed, since I don't have anything to put it in right now. This is what I use when making my stuffing for Thanksgiving. Okay, get all this all blended in here. I was going to pull out my double stuffed waffle maker because I think this would be amazing in that, but I'm a little lazy. We ain't doing that. We are just going to do liquid cage free egg whites to give that a try. They did not have my organic ones, free range, pasteurized, whatever ones. Um, let me get my scale so I can let you know how much I'm pouring in there. All right, I am going to do two tablespoons of heavy cream to start with, though. I do know I want to that. I forgot I didn't need the butter since I am using heavy cream. That was 10 fats. So that we're at 20 fats, basically. Okay, so I'm gonna go to two and a half ounces and see what our consistency is as I make a mess. All right, I think I'm going to go to three and then I can add water. All right, 3.17. Then I can add water. And I don't know why I use this. I keep forgetting I don't make it that liquidy. So <laughs> using this thing never works that great. Right? Okay. Me go ahead and fill a quarter cup of water. Might want a little more liquid, but first we are going to grab my baking powder. making ice cream tonight for dinner keto style using keto chow okay half a teaspoon no maybe a quarter quarter teaspoon at the most I barely used any of it now you can also use beef gelatin would work too I just want to make it hold together just a tiny bit now now it's time for me the flavor Because the carb quick has a strong flavor. So I want to hide it a little. I'm going to use some of my pound cake one. Flavor zero off of Amazon. That's all I have. 
every time I go to um, do the company that Wendy and Harry use from Love and On Keto, they always sold out of the ones I want. Grimberry's Farm or whatever. Glazed donuts. Now for my secret ingredient. Now this is going to be very soggy. Because it is salted caramel. Those cats are still over there watching TV, y'all. Okay. Just a few drops of my Lacante Mountain Fruit at Strat Drops, which I need to order more. And I'm even putting it on my wish list because that stuff is like $11 a bottle and it's about to be holiday season and I'm going to make a lot of recipes and I use that a lot. That way I don't need any sweetened loads or sugars or erythritols. It's all right there. All right, let me taste again. I'm not going to be able to hide the salty flavor because it's salty caramel. But we're going with it. We're going with it. Because I wanted to use salted caramel. I'm trying to figure out what to use it on. It's got... But also, if you are new to Keto Chow, it might taste like pure salt to you. When I first started Keto Chow, that's what it tastes like to me. And then I got used to it. Then after not eating it for so long, it's been over a month. Um, It is very salty to me again. So. Mm, if you were wondering... No, the, um, I can't even talk. No, the sardines did not give me heartburn. There we go. All right, I'm going to get another qu quarter cup of water. It is a little thicker than I want. I want it more like a pancake thickness. I always make it extremely thick on everything I make. And this time I just don't want it as thick as I normally do. Now, I forgot. I didn't need the butter at all, not only because of the heavy cream with the fat, but my butt, it's going to be pancakes. I'm going to put butter on it. It's real delicious, yummy butter. Let me put these things away and grab the butter. Because we're going to cook it in butter as well. Let me wipe down my stove because I am a messy person. Literally, I literally just did the stove before cooking. Like, I am just messy. So that was a half a cup of water that we added to it in total. One scoop of keto chow, two tablespoons of heavy cream, a quarter cup of heart quick, three and a quarter ounces of, so three and one fourth ounces of liquid egg white. About a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and some drops of flavoring. Two tablespoons of powder butter, if I did not say that already. Okay, let's get this sucker heating up. Get it going all brown so we'll be back in a second well actually I can make it that brown because I'm going to do multiple multiple layers of it which means if I make it all gorgeously deliciously brown by the time I'm done with the other ones it will burn also I don't think the other ones will like I think the first one's going to absorb it we will see is going I'm looking for my very messy maple vanilla syrup from Chot Zero. It is my favorite. I bought them when they were on sale. 
And yes, this part is for presentation. So yeah, I do waste a tiny bit, but just a little. I'm sure my pancakes will soak it up. Let's lower this temperature. So if you do want a lesser salt one flavor, don't use salted caramel. Cho um, chocolate toffee to me has a lesser salt flavors than a lot of them. Vanilla kind of has a strong one. I was going to do s'mores, but I don't have that much of s'mores. And I don't think I'm going to buy any this year. We'll see. And because of heartburn situations, I didn't want to do the pumpkin right now in case the cinnamon like triggers heartburn. And then same with the um, gingerbread. I'm going to save all those for later in the month. Still nursing my first coffee. I drink it very slowly. Definitely got to buy me some more heavy cream. Because I think the one I have in my fridge is out of date. Yeah. Alright, we're going to get that a few minutes before we flip it. And in the meantime... I'm going to take some heavy cream. Okay, that's about three tablespoons. The whole thing equals four tablespoons. Let me grab my vanilla again. Definitely gotta add some. Okay, to my list. Yeah, I can just drink a few drops of that in my coffee, the vanilla stuff, and I'm happy. All right, before I start doing this, I don't want to. Okay, I think that's still good. I don't want to accidentally burn it. I think I need a deeper cup. Mine have to be just a bigger bowl. Poured a little more than I was planning in here. Guess I didn't need to flip yet, but that's okay. So I normally made these with tons of eggs and no carb quick, so this is a new way of making them. So if you don't have keto chow, you could just do more carb quick or one of your other protein powders you have. Even collagen would work. I don't know if this is going to be strong enough to get this as thick as I want. So usually I pull out my big KitchenAid and I do the whole batch at once. But I do it for holidays because it does not stay thick long. A couple of days and it starts to get watery.
You can also just shake it, put in a container with a lid and shake, and it'll make this too. That's usually how I do small amounts, but I didn't feel like shaking on a camera. Okay. This is not sticking together well at all. I think I needed like um, cream and tartar or something. Like I've never used just these ingredients in some egg whites. I've always had yellow in here and I've also never used powdered butter before, so this is all new. Completely new. Oh, that's fun. Woo! Okay, don't be a kid on cam. Y'all, I have to find my fun somewhere, right? I know a lot of y'all think I don't have stress. Everyone, I've gotten comments that I don't have a job to go to. I can do what I want. There's nothing to be stressful in my life. Every single person in my life is extremely unhealthy. My daughter, my parents, everyone's unhealthy. Um, so I have medical issues with everyone. My daughter probably has autism. I have to drive her almost three hours away to get tested. I've been fighting for her rights since she was little. She has screaming out of nowhere, uncontrollable fits every single day of our life for no reason. Um, which, and everything has to be a certain way, and it's, it's not OCD, it's, it's not ADHD. It, like, it could be that combined with autism, but it's 100% she is on the spectrum. Like, we have gone through so many tests to get to where we are today, because each doctor she's seen, each psychiatrist, neurologist, all believe she has autism. This is the very last test. You have to jump through tons of hoops because of insurance purposes, because this last test is extremely expensive. Um... So, that has been stressful since she was a baby. Um, it's not little brat fits, okay? I can't even begin to explain. You can't calm them down. They hurt themselves. They hit walls. They hit themselves. Like, oh. when you see her in videos, she seems completely fine. And she can be. And then she can't be. Um, Plus, she has severe, severe, severe depression. And on a lot of medication, it took forever to get her medication and everything for it. Um, and it is slowly helping. Um, there's so much stress with my daughter. So much stress with my family. Um, health issues. I'm the one who does every single errand in the world. Whether it's going to the mail, whether it's paying some bills, whether it's grocery shopping, picking up stuff, whatever it is, that is my life 24-7. Plus eight cats. <laughs> I added more stress than that. Um, plus other other issues that I'm not allowed to discuss and things that go wrong constantly, just out of the blue, have gone wrong. Um, so I do have extreme stress. Maybe not the same as your some people's. Um, I actually think I would be less stressed. I was less stressed when I had a job because I got to escape, right? You just go do a job for eight hours a day and you get paid money for doing that job, right? And then you go home. <sighs> so <laughs> that would probably be a break. But I, um, for me, I do have a crazy amount of stress from all different things. Um, plus myself have severe ADHD and post-traumatic stress syndrome. So I, and I have a adrenal gland issue that whether there is actual real stress or not, my body thinks there is stress. So it's under stress 24 seven. I also have a fight. It releases the fight, flight to fight mode 24 seven. It can never be shut off. We've tried so many different kinds of tricks. We can just not get it sh shut off. Um, but that is genetic on my mom's side. So, and always something seems to be going wrong. My mother's refrigerator has broke like 
seven times this year and they have come over and over again to fix it. She's not just going to go out and buy a new refrigerator because they're like three, four thousand dollars and she has insurance for it. Um, so it has been a nightmare. Every time it breaks, we have to throw tons of food away if it doesn't fit in my fridge. So then I have to get stressed to make sure their food fits in my fridge and then my food can't fit in my fridge. Like, yeah, I don't even know how to tell you. Like, there is some crazy weird stress in our family for all different kind of reasons. So yes, I do live in a stress. Might not be the same kind of stress as some of y'all. Um, I also suffer from nightmares, severe, severe nightmares because of my post-traumatic stress syndrome. So that puts your body under stress. So I believe everyone has their own kind of stress. Um, and, and the comment was also sweet too, saying I was beautiful, um, which I appreciate so much. And this is not like a negative thing at all. I was just trying to explain why I'm so stressed, um, which is extremely sweet. And sometimes I feel that way. And sometimes I don't, not at all, especially when I put on weight. Um, I don't feel that way at all. Dino took pictures of me and him, or my daughter took pictures of me and Dino, and Dino took pictures of me. I'm going to post some of them, the pictures of me by myself I'm not posting that he took because I feel very ugly in them. I started crying. I got really depressed when I saw them um, because in a video two days ago that you watched, I was, I got to turn this on for a minute. I was explaining how great my body looked and how I was feeling great and then I had to eat carbs and then I put all this weight on and I did not feel good and I look like garbage to me. So sometimes I feel ugly. Even if other people say I don't, I feel it and there's no way around that part. I, I, some people, if you just tell them they look pretty, they feel better about themselves. I love compliments, so don't get me wrong. But I'm the person that if I'm feeling away, I don't know how to change it. So, and I guess I've been trying to work on it for years, y'all. That's why I try to take pretty pictures and do makeup so I can feel better about myself. Um, also, I was bullied. First 30, 20 something years, almost 30 years of my life, I was bullied by people. So, it's really hard to get out of that mindset. But y'all are all amazing. And the comment about what do I have to be stressed about type of comment, does not bother me because no one knows, right? No one knows for sure. It seems like, and y'all, y'all, YouTube stresses me out, but I'm not going to stop it. I'm not going to stop it. Um, but it does. And I don't, I don't even make a hundred dollars a month off of YouTube right now. Except when my amazing people send me stuff, which is amazing. Um, but it is stressful, but I don't want to end that stress because it's also lonely um without it and it's my outlet where i get to talk so it's good and bad and sometimes it takes me eight hours in a day to put a video together and that's why you don't see videos for days on end because i'm so exhausted and so wore out i just can't do it one is everything seems to be really slow like trying to get the videos out of my phone into the computer takes about an hour to two hours and i kind of gotta sit and watch it so my phone doesn't overheat and then i have to cut some stuff out and i suck at cutting stuff out I have to re-edit and sometimes I still mess up and the stuff is upside down even though I checked a billion times um so so even though I don't get paid I have an eight hour a day job easy um doing YouTube and then like I said I run a million errands today is my one day that I haven't had to go do nothing um and trust me, sitting in that bedroom with the cats was so stressful. I had to jump up for 82 minutes. Um, it was painful sitting in there like that. Well, laying in there. Like, that was more stressful than running the errands and doing everything for everyone. My ADHD doesn't like a situation like that. Um, I can't feel trapped. It really bothers me. So that was horrible. I was so glad that these two did not need the whole 14 days. Like, on day 7 or 6, I pulled them out of there and let them be out here all day long with me. And then they would just go back at night. Oh, we have a delivery of UPS. Okay, I'm going to finish clicking this one real fast and I'll show y'all in a minute. 
my packages always go to my mom's house. I want to be the first to open these, and my mom always opens them, so I had to end the video to call her and be like, don't open my packages. I want to open them. It's Kohl's. It's stuff I ordered, but stuff she doesn't know I ordered um, for her to see, so I want to be there when she sees them. Okay, I'm trying to get my water to heat up. It's just not heating up. All right, come on and cook. I think I'm going to need to put this one on the bottom. I'm trying to make a pretty, pretty display for my picture, for my thumbnail. I think this is cooked enough, though. Okay. There we go. That's prettier. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's mom again. She says the bag is completely torn open, and she said the UPS driver says there's nothing in her vehicle, but now I have to go down there and examine it all and make sure it's all there for sure. Okay, so I don't use a lot of this. It's not even a full tablespoon. And then we're going to use a tablespoon of butter. Got my tablespoon for my heavy cream to make it look prettier. All right, and it's four o'clock. I'll let you know if I like it. I'm gonna take a picture. What's got their attention? It's a new variant curry channel. <laughs> Hi, Piper. They're scared you're gonna scold them from hitting your TV. It's already broken. The whole right side has purple down it. You didn't get Freya. Oh, there she is. I got oh, him when they were on the floor. <laughs> oh my god. TV no time. It's some 24 7 mouse channel. I don't know what it is. Willow, you bake it down off mommy's good stuff. No, no, no. Baby, I think this is a mistake. It's too late for that. I know it's a broken TV, but it's all I have right now. Okay, whenever I afford a new TV one day, I will be placing this somewhere for them, and they will have their own TV. You can't really tell through the camera, but this whole side is a pinky purple. Especially if you're watching movies with snow, it looks funny. You're going to have to get a glass TV. <laughs> No, I think when I get a new one one day, I'm going to hang it on the wall. I'm going to remove my shelf, unfortunately, and hang it up so they can't get to it. Hey, how are they going to watch the videos? It's all up there. Because I'll give them this TV somewhere. Don't ask me where. I don't know where I could sit that. Oh, my stuff outside. Yeah, but when it's too cold, they can't go outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, Freya. Freya's the one on the left. Tricky, are you trying to get up there? You think you made a new friend, Freya? She's a retarded one? Hey! Maybe you know I say that word. It makes people mad. Well, she's special. That's why we like her so much. She's crazy. She's crazy, Freya. Oh, no. I think all these cats are special trying to get it out of the TV. I can't believe this person got like a million views. This is why they stuff. got a million views. Everyone puts their cats, they put it on and leave the house. I bet they never thought about that. I don't think nobody would do it because it would destroy your TV. They might have cat TVs that belong to the cats. A tablet or something. I don't have to get them one on Black Friday. Should be like $50. Yeah, they love tablets, but I'm afraid they're going to break mine. He lets them watch his when he's in the shower. Yeah, so they don't break my stuff when I'm taking a shower. They're like kids. You got to watch them 24-7. Oh, look at little girl. Little girl. Hey, that's a deep scratch. Oh, little girl. Hey. Little girl. Hey. I see nails. We got to cut your nails. Getting a little too carried away, little girl. I think we need to turn it off for the TV breaks. I think you're going to go blind like a close air to a TV. Little girl. Oh, no, a close-up one. There we go. That thing is bigger than you. You better run. <laughs> My 
Afraid, huh? Not afraid of scared of it. <laughs> Zay, I ain't touching it. Hi, Shaky. You trying to get mommy? Little girl's like, I don't care how big it is. I'm going for it. Why is scared of it? He's like, oh, that thing came big. That's a big one. Y'all, the museum wax stuff works amazing. It's why they can't knock all this over. Lit it. I will have to budget hardcore to even get them to move, to take it down. I feel like if they climb the top of the TV, it would just flip. You think? Yeah, we got to get... <laughs> If we ever get enough money for a new TV, we just pop it to a wall, like you said. If you can find the stud. Oh, I know where the stud is. Is it in the center, though? Is it going to be more in the That's left not right? the center. That's what I mean. Hey, hey. See, no, Freya. Freya. No. She's trying to get behind it to get it. No, Maybe Freya. No okay, let's turn the channel. Just All right. Welcome to my crazy cat life.